Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is a default judgment? Imagine being part of a game where the other player doesn't show up. You win by default, right? Well, in the legal world, there's a similar concept. It's called a default judgment. This happens in civil court, not in a game, of course. When someone files a lawsuit, the defendant must respond by a set deadline. If they don't, the court isn't just twiddling its thumbs. No, the court may issue a default judgment. This means the plaintiff may win without the defendant's side of the story. Think about it as a one-sided victory lap in a courtroom race. The defendant's absence doesn't stop the process. Instead, the court takes action, often siding with the plaintiff. It's like the referee raising one player's hand when the other is a no-show. But why would this happen? Maybe the defendant is playing hide-and-seek and can't be found. Or perhaps they're just overwhelmed and miss the deadline. Life happens, right? But in court, deadlines are no joke. The plaintiff must still prove their case, even if the defendant is MIA. The court reviews the evidence before making a decision. It's not a free pass, but more of a proceed-with-caution sign. If you're on the receiving end of a lawsuit, marking your calendar is key. Responding in time can prevent a default judgment. If one is issued, there may be a chance to set it aside. But it's like hitting the snooze button too many times. Waking up is harder. Default judgments ensure the wheels of justice keep turning, even if someone tries to put a stick in the spokes. It's all about fairness and moving forward, with or without all parties present. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.